Every meal of the day. Oh, give me a bowl of cereal and some gummy bears. I'm good to go. I know you're supposed to eat your fruits and vegetables, and it's very important, but you just can't beat a big bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey there, Elaine. Want some cereal? It's the perfect lunchtime meal. Sometimes I don't understand you at all. Mm. 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 Really good. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Tony, and this is the time I learn from my mistakes. We have an exciting announcement to make. We've approached Chef Elaine about starting a Connect HQ cooking show. Hey. It's always been a dream of hers to teach other people her French cooking techniques. She's over the moon. That sounds so fun. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Well, you can do more than just watch. Making a show like this requires a lot of help. We were hoping the three of you could assist us by sampling the dishes that Elaine prepares. Sample. Yep. Elaine thought that you and Dot would love sampling the food she makes, and Tony, she was hoping that you would prepare the drinks that go with each dish. Oh, the, the drinks. She she wants me to prepare the drinks? It's going to be super easy. She's prepared recipe cards for you to follow. This is going to be awesome. Just, I can't wait. What do you say, Tony? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I, won't, I won't let her down. <laughs> Hooray! Filming starts this afternoon. We'll see you on set. Okay. Hey, Tony! Okay. Everything all right? Uh, uh, you look a little stressed. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, so I have this friend, and someone gave him a job that he's not really good at. So would it be a mistake if he acted like he knew what he was doing and then just hoped everything turned out for the best? Just wait until you try the second dish, Dot. Have you ever tried natto or fiddlehead ferns? Uh, Chef Elaine, are you sure this food won't be, I don't know, too fancy for me? Nonsense. The food might taste strange at first, but it's just a matter of expanding your palate. Oh, Tony, there you are. Oh, yeah, uh, Chef Elaine, I was actually looking for you. Um, I have some concerns about making the drinks. You too. You'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Just follow the directions on the cards. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to talk to you about. Um... Chef Elaine, we need you on set. We're almost ready. I'll be right there. Can I count on you? Do you have everything under control? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Good. All right, you all look great. Oh, and that soup smells delicious, Chef Elaine. Great work. Thank you both. <laughs> For this part of the show, we'd like to get footage of Dot drinking the beverage, if that's all right. You got it. Great. We're rolling in three, two, one, action. Oh. Uh, Dot, is everything all right? Yeah. Wasn't expecting that flavor. <clears throat> well, that's okay. Let's try it again. <clears throat> that is, that is something. Could you go for a more, uh, natural expression, Dot? Let's try. <laughs> hey, uh, everything okay? The food hasn't been too bad so far, but Elaine's drinks, they must be too fancy for me. Uh, too fancy? Yeah, you know, fancy foods and drinks always taste weird to kids. 
They never have enough sugar. Good to know. Man, making a television show is a lot tougher than I thought. Tell me about it. I messed up so many times while I was down there. Hey now, don't beat yourself up too bad for the mistakes you make. Sure, you've flubbed a few lines, but take it as an opportunity to learn from your mistakes. If I could learn not to mess up next time, that would be great. A couple years ago, Maurice and I made a ton of mistakes in one day. And I learned God can help me learn from my mistakes. God can help me learn from my mistakes. God can help me learn from my mistakes. Exactly. So learn from all the times I messed up two years ago. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just learn from them and move on. It's one of the ways God teaches us wisdom. We're ready for all three of you on set. Let's give it another go. <laughs> okay, guys, you know the drill. Let's get some video of Dot. <coughs> that is really sweet. Oh, Dot, we don't need any commentary for this part of the shoot. Just. Try to give us a good reaction shot, all right? Let's try it a few more times, all right? Sure. <clears throat> Why do I keep messing up? Why am I not learning from my mistakes? All I have to do is keep a straight face while taking a drink. What's so hard about that? Dot, I should probably tell you that I added more sugar this time because... Sugar? I, I, Keep it up with the sugar. Enough sugar and I won't taste Elaine's fancy ingredients. Yeah, but I'm... Hey, guys. I, hey. hey, how's it going? I'm still messing up. Teach me something else you learned from your mistakes two years ago. Okay, I can do that. I think I have the perfect verse for you. Great, go for it. Let's hear it. It's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 11. Say it with me like this. Proverbs 26, 11. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh! As a do- wait, what? Yeah. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh! So a fool repeats his foolishness. So a fool repeats his foolishness. Some mistakes we make are on purpose, while others are accidents. No matter what mistake we make, we need to learn from it so we stop making that mistake. Otherwise, we're like a dog that eats its own puke. Ew. Yeah. <sighs> Are you okay? Come on, everyone. It's almost time to start filming again. Hey, let's go! Let's give it another try, Dot. Ah, it's green this time! Look at it! Green! What's in this one, Elaine? Mm, green beans, artichokes, gummy bears! Uh, well, hey, 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 now. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I tone it down. What's going on down there? Uh, uh, Tony, what is this? I asked you to make a simple mint limeade. Th this is... <coughs> what is this? Do what have you done? I, um... Yeah, is this I, show a joke to you? Are you trying to make fun of me? No, 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 yeah, no. I've no, had no. enough. No. Is the room spinning or is it... Just me. Uh, I... Is she gonna be okay? Uh, at one point I thought that she had drank enough sugar that she'd never sleep again, but I think she'll be fine. Oh, that's uh, that's good. So, what happened back there? Honestly, I'm just really terrible at following recipes, and I didn't want to let Elaine down. So I pretended that I knew what I was doing, and I hoped for the best. And this is the result. I had so many opportunities to tell the truth, and I just let them pass me by. I feel terrible. Whoa. You know, I think there's a video in the archives that'll really help you. I'd love to see it. <laughs> Great. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book. It's a lie. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching me through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book.
book is alive. John. On the night before he was arrested, Jesus and his disciples got together to celebrate a holiday called the Passover. As they sat down at a table to eat, Jesus told his friends that soon he was going to die. The disciples were shocked, but Peter said, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. But Jesus replied, I tell you, Peter, you will deny you know me three times before the rooster crows in the morning. After Jesus and the disciples finished eating their Passover meal, they went to a garden called Gethsemane. While they were there, one of the disciples, Judas, betrayed Jesus and handed him over to a crowd that wanted to kill him. The crowd led Jesus away and Peter followed at a distance. While he was waiting and watching to see what would happen, a servant girl saw Peter and tried to tell others he was one of Jesus' disciples. But Peter said, Woman, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Then two more people asked Peter if he followed Jesus. And two more times, Peter said, I don't know the man. As soon as Peter said he didn't know Jesus for the third time, a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had told him. He had betrayed his friend, and he was very, very sad. Peter thought he would never lie about knowing Jesus, but he still did. He knew he'd made a huge mistake when he heard the rooster crow. But that's not the end of the story. After Jesus died and came back to life, he still loved Peter. He forgave Peter and gave him another chance. Jesus asked Peter, three times. Do you love me? This time, Peter said, Yes, Lord. You know I love you. So, Jesus told Peter, Then take care of my sheep. By saying that, Jesus was giving Peter a huge responsibility to watch over the people in the church. Peter learned from his mistake. He never lied about knowing Jesus again and he took his new responsibility very seriously. Everywhere he went, he taught people about Jesus, baptized them, and helped lead all the people in the church. Peter really messed up when he lied about knowing Jesus. But Jesus loved Peter so much that he forgave him and gave him a second chance. And not only that, he asked him to watch over his church. God gives us all grace and forgiveness when we mess up, no matter how many times we mess up. And so do all of us at Connect HQ. Even Elaine? Even Elaine, I think. <clears throat> I should go apologize to her and do whatever I can to fix the situation. And I should probably apologize to Dot too, when she wakes up. Oh. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a moment? I'm, I'm here to apologize. I'm so sorry. I was not trying to mess up your show. I, uh, I, I just, I'm just terrible at following recipes. Why didn't you just tell me this from the start? I, I tried to. I really did. But the more that everything went on, the more I felt like there was no way out, and I didn't want to disappoint you, and I just kept making the same mistake over and over again. I'm not telling you the truth. I, I'm sorry. I, I will do anything to make the situation better. I forgive you. I don't ever make a mistake like this again. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. Very well. As for the shoot... What'd you have in mind? Perfect, Dot. That looked great. Hi, I'm Tony and I'm with Connect HQ. I learned a great verse that I want to share with you. It goes like this. Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to its vomit, bleh, so a fool repeats his foolishness. We all make mistakes, but none of us should make the same mistake over and over. That's like a dog eating its own puke. And come on, that's gross. Peter made a really big mistake when he said he didn't know Jesus. But Jesus wasn't angry with Peter. Jesus loved him so much, he forgave Peter and gave him another chance. 
and he does the same things for us when we make mistakes. Today, I kept making the same mistake when I didn't tell Chef Elaine the truth. But Mike helped me learn that no matter what kind of mistakes we make, we can learn from them and move on. That's one way God gives us wisdom. So the next time that you make a mistake, don't do what I did and make the same mistake over and over. Instead, think about this. God can help me learn from my mistakes. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Elaine gave me the assignment to figure out what's wrong with these drinks I made. Uh, the, oh, the carrots and the sweet potatoes aren't bad, but I don't think the cheese is good. Oh, oh that's a lot of sugar. Mm. And the eggplant I added is not doing it any favors. I did actually put mint and lime in that one. Maybe I wasn't supposed to blend the whole lime. All of us make mistakes, but we can learn to do better with God's help. And to have God's help, all you have to do is ask Jesus to be your leader and your number one friend. If you want to make that choice, all you have to remember are your ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If you did, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust.